everybody. I've got the first card to show you that you get with your free projects when you buy the Butterfly Brilliance Collection. And this is called a wiper card. And it's just a really fun card to make. And the only thing that's a little bit hard is just the mechanism that makes your butterfly pop up. And I'm going to show you how to make this card. And I will give you the measurements. You don't have to worry about writing them down right now. And I'll send those to you. So the first thing you do is you start with an 8.5 by 11, whatever color of cardstock you want. And you want to cut an inch off. And so you'll have a seven and a half inch piece of paper. So then you want to bring in all my stuff out of the way. You want to bring in your scoreboard and you want to score at one and a half and three. So it's one and a half and three. Back to the side and then bring in our cutter again and we want to cut a piece and you want to make sure that your fold lines are in the trimmer this way so you want to cut it at four and a quarter and that's the base of your card and then you want to cut a piece that's two and a quarter and that will be your front piece of your card And then you'll have a piece left over that you can cut at four and a quarter. And then you'll just have to cut a piece at two and a quarter for your front. So you almost have two out of one sheet. But, you know, if you made it smaller, you could. But I like, I like the taller one. So I did this one at four and a quarter. And then this one, I actually cut it at four and a half. But I think the four and a quarter is just, you know, it's a nice size. So we're going to go with that one. So what you do is you want to bring in your bone folder and score your pieces. So this one is going to go a valley and then a mountain. So you just score it and make sure that your pieces, you know, they line up. Because sometimes you do get a little off track when you're scoring. But you want to make sure that they're nice and straight then you want to turn this and it's going to be a mountain and a valley so then you just score it get these nice and crisp and then what it is it's going to work like this so you turn you know when you cut them it's like this but then you turn it like this and then your pieces fit together and then they fold down like that so next up is going to be, I'm going to show you how to do the wiper piece. So when you have your piece of cardstock, you want to just flip it right like this so you know that this is the top of your card. And then you're going to use this first score line. If you can see it, this first score line, not this one, but this one right here. So you want to take this piece of cardstock, which is two by two and a quarter, or you can even cut it a little smaller. You know, you don't need it that big for your butterfly to fit on. And then you just want to line it up in the center of the score line and make a little tick at the bottom and then on the side. Then you want to bring your paper cutter back in so that you can use the score part. So you just put this in your trimmer. I'm going to bring this down a little bit just so you can see and then I'll put it back up when we put the card together. So you can see the little ticks that I made on there and you just put those into the trimmer. That one lines up there and that one lines there and make sure you use your scoring blade and not your cutting blade. Score it really nice and then get rid of your paper trimmer. So bring it back in and what you want to do is you want to line the bottom piece up and the top piece up and then all you do is you fold this back and score it give it a good burnish with your bone folder and you can use glue dots or you can use your tombow mono adhesive which is what i always use 
glue dots are easier just because they are not messy. But you do want to watch when you're putting your glue on here. Just put enough on it so it sticks. And just stay inside of the lines. Just like that. And bring it back. Line it up again. And then just press it down. And give it a good burnish with your phone folder. So then you have to put it together to see if your mechanism works. Oops. <laughs> put enough glue on it and give it time to dry. Make sure I have this the right way. Okay. See, that's why you should probably use glue dots because it... I should have used glue dots and that way it would... It would dry faster. So we'll just give it a second. Press it down. Okay. And bring it back in. And you won't know if it works unless you do this part to it. And see. And if this sticks up, just give it a little cut. Just trim it. Just a tiny bit. And then just put it back in your card and make sure it works and it flips up really nicely isn't that cool love this card so i would first thing i would do is i would put my butterfly on so that you know it's easier to put it on now than wait until the last minute and i just put glue right in the center of my butterfly and then if you want to you can add some um of your Ricostella just to give it a little bit of shimmer on its wings and if you want to you can even add some more color like if you want to bring in some of the greens on there you could just bring in your mint macron ink and just press it And then just bring a little color in on your butterfly if you want to. Just in different spots, you know. It doesn't have to be everywhere. Just, uh, you know, you want a little color on it. Who doesn't like a little bit of sparkle? I like it a lot. So then you just want to some glue on your butterfly and it doesn't take a whole lot and that way the lit the less that you can put on of any glue is best you know that way it doesn't make a big mess and you just bring it over make sure that he works and then if you need to just move him down while the glue is still sticky you want it to be a surprise when your butterfly pops up. So let's try it now. Yours will be done for you. I will, um, not your butterfly, but your mechanism will be done on your card so you don't have to worry about doing that. And you'll know that it works because I have tested them. So this butterfly is being difficult today pop him over and make sure that it works you know before you move on to your next step and you have it where you want it to be I think that's good so then we can start the fun part of decorating so isn't that cute you can test it and make sure it works okay so I have cut all of these for you and like I said, I'll give you the dimensions of your cardstock and your designer series paper. And just use a little bit of glue. And just decorate the panels. It's easier to decorate them before you stick them together. Because you have more control. And it's, it's easier when you can lay them flat. Let's turn this butterfly up this way. This is beautiful paper. I love this paper. Let's 
There's our last panel. And let's bring in the card base. And this is cut at four and a quarter by four. And you want to just, when you get yours, just dry fit it before you put any glue on it. And that way you'll know which way it goes on your card base. So this one goes right like that. And you can use whichever side of the paper that you like. If you like the butterflies, you can absolutely turn that over. I love that Stampin' Up's paper is just so pretty. You can use either side. Oops, got that one a little long. That's all right. The bottom will cover up. I hope yours isn't long. I will check them again before I send them out. Do. Oh, getting down low on my glue. Let's just do this one. And then all you have to do is your sides. So this panel, you can actually put glue on it. And then when you come over to this panel, you just want to put like a square right there. And make sure that they're even on both sides, top and bottom. And then you're done. How easy is that? And you'll have the little um, rhinestones. Those are the champagne rhinestones. But isn't that just the cutest thing? I love it. And you can make these for any occasion. And they're easy. You know, once you get that mechanism down... You are good to go. Oh, I forgot the happy birthday. You will get the happy birthday, and it does have adhesive on it, so you just have to peel the backing off, and then just stick your happy birthday on there. So cute. Hope you like it.